first things first, I have no idea where my mic is. The sound quality of this will not be that great. And it was October, I've heard of Inktober, Arttober, whatever you want to call it. And I know that there are a bunch of themes, but this year I just wanted to try to draw my lo-fi playlist, especially things focusing on the lo-fi raccoon. So over the next 30 days, I tried drawing 20 pieces just to stay consistent, but not necessarily to committing to doing something every single day. And yeah, this is how it turned out. And of course, to start it all out, I used the Sharpie pen. Couldn't use a normal pen because, you know, I had to prove I'm cooler than you. I was about as motivated to do this as a fat man running on New Year's Eve, and of course, the first day is always the easiest. This one was arguably one of my best ones. I like the line work, and it has a good level of detail too. It's just hard to get the grass to look ocean-like without color. Of course, drawing two, we're still motivated. I ripped out a page in between as you can see here, and once again I think the line work involved in the tree just makes this one look really detailed. Drawing three, you can already see signs of fatigue, shows something a little easier to draw with slightly more rounded edges. Drawing four, quite frankly this style of lo-fi raccoon I find to just be really ugly, so I tweaked it a bit, made the guy look a little cuter as you can see here. Drawing five came around day eight and I think it's another easier one. They say it takes around five days to get into running, and I say it takes around five days before you get tired of drawing. So around this time, it was also my friend's birthday, so we drew a little drawing of her grad photos and gave it to her. Didn't draw the face though. <laughs> I didn't draw your face because I didn't want to fuck it up. Day six, we're back with this mega ugly raccoon on the subway. Around here, my line work is getting sloppier and sloppier and you, see, you can see the binding of the sketchbook is coming loose as well. There's a little bit of smudges here and there. Now, drawing seven, we were still only around the eight or nine day mark, so we're actually being really consistent. It's just a lesson about consistencies. There's, there's just always something called the dip. It's really easy to get simple results at first, but then you reach the dip or the plateau where your energy doesn't really seem to match the output. And this is really important for a lot of things in life, but it takes getting past the dip when you know you're sort of stuck results-wise to improve. And I think as a student, it was definitely quite tough to fit in 30 minutes of drawing a day when I was already getting kind of tired. And I think this one actually looks really cool, but the pen drawing definitely doesn't do justice to the complexity of the colors. Now, day eight was actually the first original piece I'd made. Now, it's supposed to be a raccoon sitting on the edge of a building in a city. It was a little hard for me to design because I think copying other people's work isn't too difficult, but it gets hard to fill in all the blank spaces and make something look good when you design your own piece. And I think it's also a good skill, sort of channeling that understanding of what a character would look like from different angles. And after drawing the raccoon for seven or eight days or now, I'm, I'm more or less knew the important parts that would make it look recognizable as the lo-fi raccoon. Now, to say drawing 9 was complex is a little bit of an understatement. There's just so much going on in the cover art and it's hard to get all the details right and aligned. And at first, I didn't even notice there was a raccoon in this one. Now, for day 10, it's another one of the really ugly raccoons, but I was too tired to fix this one because I had a bunch of classes now. Classwork was getting really busy, a lot of work to do. But I think it was definitely the most fun to draw the shifts in perspective through the water for this one. Now for drawing 11, I just come across another windfall of uh, unique lo-fi cover arts and I remember I wanted to make a few original ones but as soon as school got busy again, it was time to start copying other people's stuff. Now drawing 12 was really annoying at first of all because you can see the back of this one is another one of the ugly raccoons. Now there are three distinctive types of raccoons, one drawn by Jeff Mangalon and two other ones. but. This one, the trees were just really repetitive and it gets a little annoying, but at, at the same time, it makes it look really detailed. Now, drawing 13 was a nice one. This one, I think the pen drawing definitely doesn't do justice because there's a very unique color scheme and I think a lot of these are colored in watercolor, which the pen doesn't really capture. Drawing 14 was more or less inspired by this coffee shop and was another somewhat original piece. I tried to composite the raccoon into the side, but I can just say right now this one doesn't look that good. 
notes now for drawing 15 you can barely even notice there's a lo-fi raccoon in this one but there is and the hardest part was just getting the perspective right for each of the trees and this is another one where the color doesn't really get captured by the pattern now drawing 16 is a record shop and i can distinctly remember i had taken a three to four break from drawing before the record shop one I think certain activities are therapeutic when you start, but after a while they sort of become a right. chore. I remember in lab I was spilling things, cracking equipment, all kinds of bad stuff, and I wasn't really in the headspace to be doing drawing. And I think this piece was pretty important because it helped me to get back on track. Sometimes it's good to practice consistency in things you don't enjoy to build a little more discipline. On drawing 17, I did this on a Sunday morning. Overall, I think it was pretty immaculate vibes and the line work is really nice as well. I think you just sort of put yourself in those shoes, just chilling, playing guitar, and it makes this one really calming. <laughs> so now both 17 and 18 were the aforementioned third type of raccoon. I think this one was kind of cute too and has good vibes, and the line work is more detailed as you can see in the backdrop and the trees. It looks like a children's book illustration. Now 19 is somewhat of a different type of raccoon as well, but not one that's actually featured on Spotify. and. The next two I took from a random fan drawing of lo-fi raccoons and added some lo-fi raccoon songs that I like behind them, or lo-fi songs in general. This one I chose because it was really cartoony and I guess it was a different style to work with. Now 20, I, I had to choose one for spooky season, you know, because it's Halloween we were finishing up October. And uh, I even had a little jack-o'-lantern on the side. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Artober drawing challenge thing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.